The Logitech MX Ergo S and the MX Vertical are two ergonomic mouses from Logitech that feel way different than a standard mouse. So in this video, we're going to compare these mouses, all the custom buttons they have, and help you decide if you should buy the MX Vertical or the MX Ergo. So the fundamental difference between these two mouses is the fact that the MX Ergo is a trackball mouse and the MX Vertical is just a vertical mouse. So the MX Vertical, you still have to actually move your wrist around but it's in a way that you barely have to move it to actually move your cursor. So it requires very little wrist movement and there's still a ton of customization on this mouse. But with the MX Ergo S, you move the pointer by using the trackball. You don't move your wrist at all. There's no ability to actually move the mouse at all. You can change this one's position though. So you can have it on a side like this or you can also press it down and have it in a flatter position. So even when you compare them side by side, you notice the MX Vertical is quite a bit more of a handshake position than the MX Ergo. But I find both of these to be very comfortable on the wrist. These both also include a variety of custom buttons. On the MX Ergo S, you have the scroll wheel that can either be clicked in or you can also click left and right and there's the forward and backwards button. And then on the left side of it, there's the button by the trackball that adjusts the trackball sensitivity. This also allows you to click the side button and scroll at the same time and that activates horizontal scrolling, which I love having that capability built into the mouse. The MX Vertical does not have horizontal scrolling, so you can only do vertical up and down scrolling on it, but you do also get the precision button on the top to adjust the sensitivity of moving the mouse around, and there's also the forward and backward button on the side of it. I think someday they might add support to click and hold the left and right buttons and scroll to do the horizontal scrolling, but that's still not on there. Both of these are also rechargeable using USB-C and they also both include a USB receiver. So the MX Vertical has the unifying receiver and the MX Ergo S has the Bolt receiver, which the Bolt's a little newer and is gonna be more compatible with some of the other newer Logitech devices. But the MX Vertical can also be paired to three devices total using Bluetooth and the MX Ergo can only be paired to two devices. But the MX Vertical, the button's on the bottom of it, and the MX Ergo S, the button's on the top of it. A lot of people have told me they really want that button on the top, so it's built into this mouse right on the top to change from one device to the next. So both of these retail for about $100, but there's a learning curve to using either of them just because they're quite a bit different than a standard mouse experience. Think about the MX Vertical basically being a standard mouse, just turned on its side and raised up a little bit. So if you're trying to decide which of these you should buy, decide if you still wanna move your wrist around and if you wanna be shifting around a lot and using this kind of like a normal mouse, but just to the side, or if you wanna learn the whole new ecosystem of the trackball. I find the trackball is a little bit easier to be precise with it, and this one is a little bit more comfortable to me, but using the MX Vertical just felt a little bit more natural to me because I was already used to moving my wrist around for a mouse. So I think the learning curve is a little bit smaller on the MX Vertical, but the MX Ergo S is definitely a more comfortable and ergonomic mouse if you can get used to using your thumb instead of your wrist. So if you're trying to decide between them, just decide if you wanna shift your wrist and move it or or if you want to use a trackball instead. That's really the main difference between these two mouses. If you have any other questions about these, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. And if you want to buy any of these mouses or any of my other favorite Logitech products, I do have links to buy in the description below.